how to set up a custom domain with Shopper. A custom domain name is a great way for creators to showcase their own brand or label. Instead of having shopper.com slash your name, your store can have your own domain name. Following these three steps is the fastest way to add a custom domain. Step 1. Add the domain to account settings page. Step 2. Update the domain DNS record. Step 3. Verify the domain is working. Step 1. Let's add the domain to your store. Go to the settings page from the top right. Click on the custom domain tab. Type in your domain and press save. That's it. Step 1 is done. Step 2. Now let's update your domain DNS. DNS is the magic link between your domain and where you are planning to host your website. To link your domain to your shopper store, go to your domain's DNS settings by logging into your domain provider's website. To connect your custom domain, you will be using a CNAME record. A CNAME record points a domain name to another domain name. You will be pointing your domain name to domains.shopper.com. There are other options to connect a domain such as a record. However, for our purpose, we use only CNAME record. Now create a CNAME record. There are three parts to a CNAME record. Please note that these fields will be named differently by different domain providers. We have listed the most commonly used names. Host or name field, points to or value, TTL field. For connecting your domain or subdomain to shopper, you will be changing the first two fields. The third field TTL should be left to the default value. The first field, the host field, can have an at the rate symbol denoting your root domain or it can contain a subdomain. Add your domain and go to the second field. The second part is the value or points to field. In that field, you enter domains.shopper.com and save the settings. Please note that some of the domain providers such as GoDaddy only allow subdomains to be used in a CNAME record. If your domain provider allows subdomains only, you can enter www to your host field. Then continue adding the points to or value field domains.shopper.com. Save and continue. Once you complete adding the CNAME record as mentioned in the above step, you need to forward your root domain to your subdomain like domain.com forwarding to www.domain.com. Please note that forwarding settings should be both permanent and forward only or without masking. Step 3. Now third and the final step. Once you complete pointing your domain name to the CNAME record, you can go back to your shopper.com settings page and verify the connection.